a tour of the KCU ICT resources for students. I'm Jim Canning, I'm one of the academic development tutors in the School of Computing, Engineering and Built Environment. And these are my colleagues, Ursula, Josie Ann, who cover academic writing and English for academic purposes, and Calm and David, who cover mathematics. We're going to cover the student web page, CC Learn, the school organisation, Carve Ultra, the Learning Development Centre website, email, Microsoft Office 365, OneDrive, MS Teams, Library, LinkedIn Learning, Apps Anywhere, EduRome, IT Helpdesk and finally Padlet. The student web page is a terrific uh, starting place to access various parts of ICT in the university. You can get your access direct to your email, GC Learn, your timetables, your term dates, and the library. And there's also my service for your log IT issues. When you log into GC Learn, if you select the organisations, you'll find the School of Computing, Engineering and Built Environment organisation. This particular one has every single student within our school attached to it. So it's often used for school-wide announcements, but it also has resources uh, for students built into it as well. So if we select that, and you'll see there's a section in there for Learning Development Centre support, academic writing support, exam preparation, study skills and other resources. And there's also ICT support material and language induction sessions, language support, online maths and numeracy resources and LDC workshop materials as well. Within each module, there's a Carbet Ultra area and that's where you go to watch lectures live and also where you can access recordings of lectures if they've been made. To access recordings of lectures, you select the area I've got highlighted in red there with the three horizontal white lines. When you click on that you'll get an option of sessions or recordings. If you select recordings you'll get a list of all the recordings associated with that module and you can then view those recordings and listen to them obviously. We're now going to the SCB Learning Development Centre resources and from there you can access uh, induction videos, semester eight workshops, online support materials, and that includes ICT. So we have ICT support from here as well. Now, student email. Every student is provided with a student email account with a unique email address, and it's yours for as long as you use it, even after you graduate. If you keep using it, it's live. It's actually run by Microsoft. Now the GCU student email address convention is the username then at caledonian.ac.uk. Now you must use your university email, not your personal or works email when you communicate with the university. Basically you use that email address, it confirms that you are a GCU student. You should check your GCU email regularly as this is the main method of communication between you and the university. And that includes the academic results at the end of each trimester and the end of the academic year. They're all emailed out to your university email address. Now, as a student of GCU, you have full access to Microsoft Office 365. You can log in uh, as a student and you can run the apps online. And you also have the option of installing um, up to five installs on your own equipment, your own PC or laptop. The apps that are available to you are OneDrive, Excel, OneNote, Teams, Forms, Word, PowerPoint, SharePoint, Sway, and there are other apps as well. Microsoft OneDrive is an incredibly useful resource for you. You've got one terabyte of free storage that can be accessed from any PC with an internet connection and a browser. You can also set it up that Microsoft will back up your files onto the cloud and that way they'll be safe, you'll never lose them. Nothing quite like uh, having a report almost completed and your laptop dies and you've lost the information. So 
user one drive highly recommended Microsoft Teams again you've got access to that and it's very useful for holding team meetings if you've got to work together on a task um, in a team then this is the tool to use you can upload documents share documents have conversations have calls have face-to-face -face calls um, video calls all things so it's a very powerful very useful uh, app so you can chat and thread the conversations meetings and video conferencing actual direct calls with people and it's, it all works with Microsoft 365 applications as well. Another terrific resource um, often overlooked is the library. Um, you can access a huge amount of information from the library including information on referencing, ref works. The library has quite a lot of uh, how-to videos um, set up as well. Very, very useful to talk you through it. And also through the library we can access the LinkedIn Learning resource. Now LinkedIn Learning used to be called lynda.com uh, but it's an amazing resource that's there for you as a student. Uh, it's astonishing what it has information on. So example I've got on the screen just now, did a search on quantity surveying and they came up with almost 600 results. Next one I put in Microsoft Office 365 and it came up with almost 6,000 results. And the next one I put in AutoCAD and they come up with almost 7,000 results. So it's always worth looking uh, in LinkedIn Learning to see what's there if you're stuck. Another resource you have is Apps Anywhere. And we, what you basically do is you stream the apps from the university to your machine at home. Um, there's a big range of apps, so there's 175 available on this at the moment. Examples are uh, 7-Zip is in there. Um, you also have uh, Audacity for editing audio files and Autodesk, AutoCAD, all these things. So that's a resource for you. Again, it's all free and you can access it on your machine linked into university. EduRome, uh, not so handy right now if you're not physically in the building like most of us aren't. However, it's uh, EduRome is the um, Wi-Fi for the university for students and staff. Um, it's actually very useful for if you do go to other universities and even some hospitals as well. Um, EduRome is set up there too, so you'll automatically get access straight into the system. And then there's the IT Help Desk. So if you do have IT issues, you can contact the IT Help Desk. That's the phone number, they will uh, get back to you, and there's also their email address as well. Now, I've got a whole bunch of ICT resources for you. I've got an ICT induction video uh, created by my colleague uh, David MacArthur, IT Guide 2021, uh, the LDC web page, LDC online support materials, GCON Ultra, Calabria Ultra, discussion boards, Padlet, which I'm going to cover in a moment, Turnitin submissions and feedback, LinkedIn learning, apps anywhere, library, podcasts, wikis, blogs, and other useful links. What I've done is I've taken all this information and material and I put it onto a Padlet which you can access, that's address down below um, but I've also put the link in uh, to one of the modules as well and it's also on the LDC uh, resources page so you can click on any of these things, you can download the information or run straight to the videos that these are attached to it's all from one source and if you've got the pop module that's where it is, ICT resources the Padlet's in there. If you have any questions, you can contact me, Jim Canning. That's jim.canning at gcu.ac.uk and that's my Skype address as well, jimc underscore gcal. Thank you.